A colonoscopy is a very safe procedure and although it has a risk of complications, this risk is actually small. Colonoscopy is a digital video examination of the large intestine or colon. The camera itself is a thin, flexible tube that gives us incredibly detailed images. To get these images, you must have a completely clean colon and this means taking a bowel preparation beforehand. We'll send you instructions on how to take the bowel preparation and it's really important that you follow these completely. Getting the best pictures will help us to help you. We'll also send you easy to follow information about any dietary restrictions. Plan to take the day off prior to the procedure as the medication takes effect. As with all endoscopic procedures, it's important that we know in advance if you are taking warfarin. We'll send you more information about this and other drugs. The colonoscopy itself is usually well tolerated and it's rare that you will feel pain. However, sometimes you may experience discomfort similar to wind, particularly as we start the procedure. Most of you would feel nervous about the prospect of having a camera put into your tail end, but patients tell us it's not as bad as they feared. The colonoscope advances slowly through the large intestine and this allows us to examine the lining carefully. The procedure itself can take anything from 15 to 30 minutes. On rare occasions we do encounter a problem and if this is the case the endoscopist may ask you to have a special CT scan instead. The doctor will give you medications through a vein to help you relax and to reduce any discomfort. Don't be alarmed if samples of tissue known as biopsies are taken. This doesn't necessarily mean that you have a serious problem. If polyps, which are small lumps, are found, we usually try and take those out at the time. Removing polyps is one important method of preventing colon cancer. After the procedure, nurses will take you into a recovery area and will help you to get over the sedation. This may take around an hour. Just before you leave, in our recovery lounge, you'll be given something to eat and drink. You will always get the results of your test. Exactly how depends on your case history. Sometimes this may mean a chat with your endoscopist. Other times it may mean going to see your GP. Complications are pretty rare, but they are a fact of life and can occur in any medical procedure. What we'll cover now is what these complications may be for colonoscopy and how we deal with them. Quoting statistics is always difficult in medicine, but in broad terms, the risk of perforation is one in several hundred. Even less common is extended bleeding after a biopsy. Perforation is a complication where the endoscope tears a hole in the skin lining the colon. Surgery could be required to repair this hole. Extended bleeding may lead to a short hospital stay of a day or so and may require blood transfusion. In extremely rare circumstances, surgery might be required. Other potential risks include having a reaction to the sedation that is given. Although complications are rare, it's important for all patients to recognise any early signs of problems. And if this were the case, you should contact your doctor promptly about any severe symptoms such as abdominal pain, fever, chills, or rectal bleeding of more than one half cupful. If you have any further questions about the procedure, please ask us when you come to the unit. We're here to help you.